A very warm welcome to all my fitness buddies. You know what time it is right now? It is time to push, pull, and legs with me. Now, I've got my dumbbells ready. I've got the mat ready, bottle, towel, all ready to work out. Are you ready now? Because if you are, we are going to start. Before that, if you haven't downloaded the GolfFit app, now is your time to just do that. Let's get into the warm up, guys. It is warm up time. All right, now we're ready for the warm up, right? Four movements we're gonna do, and then one movement after two rounds of the warm up and mobility to make sure that your heart rate goes up to prep your body for today's pool workout. And you know what? Today is all about rep based. We're gonna hit a rep based movement in today's entirety of the workout. You know, the hypertrophy rep range, we can work from 8 to 14 reps as well. All right, now enough said. Let's start with the warm up. The first one is Cobra to a mountain for 30 seconds. Let's get onto the mat, palms down, chest down, palms outside your shoulders. We're gonna scoop up for a Cobra, making sure that the shoulders stay down, tuck your feet, and then to a mountain. All right, let's go in three, two, and one, go. Breathe out here, inhale, exhale, all right. As you lift your hip up, your stomach towards your thighs, head in between the arms, almost there, three, two, and one. All right, so that was the first warm-up and mobility drill the next one we've got is a pronated snow angels we're gonna really target the upper back and the lower back muscles all right so we lie down in a prone position palms forward and holding it in a supine position from here we're gonna bring the palms back slowly and making sure your scapula is doing all the work go for it now Go slow, guys. Go slow. Okay. All right. Feeling a lot on that upper back. And as I bring my palms behind, my lower back muscles are also getting engaged. Almost there now. One last. And done. Okay. All right. We are on the mat now. We're gonna get into a quadruped position. Palms down under your shoulders, knees under your hips. From here, we're gonna do bird dog, all right? For your spine, engaging your core, hip flexors as well. Right arm extended, left leg behind. Contract, extend. All right, let's go. 30 seconds. Go slow in control. Glutes kicking in. Feel that work on that ab. It's beautiful. Almost there, guys. And done. Switch. Spine is super stable, back flat. Even when you're bringing the fist to the knee, you're not rounding your back. Yes, some variation of it, you bring your elbow to the knee, that's all right. Then your back rounds a little bit. All right, done with this as well. Wow, okay, three drills done. Next up, we've got back press. So what we will do is, we're gonna lie down on the back, all right? Then keep your feet, your knees bent, feet close to your butt, elbows are down on the mat. From here, we're gonna press that elbow down and lift your chest off the floor. And what's happening over here is you're squeezing your back. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. <sighs> nice, again. Okay, 
good, good. Come on, come on. Really isolating that back muscle, the mid back, upper back. Five more seconds. Last one, come on. And done, wow. Okay, so four drills done. Let's keep moving a little bit. Now we're gonna hit all the four drills one more round and then we go to that movement which will elevate our heart rate. So we're gonna start off with the Cobra Mountain once again for 30 seconds. Are you ready guys? Let's get onto the mat. Starting in three, two, and one. Let's go. The Cobra to the mountain. All right, back to the Cobra. <sighs> Breathe out, exhale over here. Nice flow of the spine, feeling that work on the posterior chain, your hammies, your glutes, calves, ankle. One last time. And let's lie down on the tummy. A few deep breaths. Three, two, one. And let's go with the pronated snow angels. Go, go for it. really important to have a nice warm-up routine almost there guys and done all right okay so yeah the importance of having a super nice warm-up routine is first thing you're prepping your body for the workout for the activity right let's move on with the bird dog now okay let's go now your body is cold, yeah, before you start doing any activity and you cannot just go about sprinting or lifting 100 kgs, right? For that matter, any weight. You've got to prime your body and your warm-up is doing that. Getting that core temperature up. Making sure blood is flowing in every nook and corner of the body. Your blood is carrying oxygen, nutrients, right? So making sure that all of that is happening and once all of that happens, the joints, there's less friction, they're more mobile. And with load, with plyo elements, anything explosive, even slow movements, right? You'd get better range and you'd be able to sustain the workout for a long period of time. Okay, just taking a look at the clock, we've got about five seconds now. And done wow okay back press on the mat okay we ready let's go three two and one press as you press you breathe out elbows pressed back squeezed make a fist if you have to all right and feel strong their flex flex your back Come on. Last five seconds now. All right, last rep and done. Okay, let's get up. All right, now this is the movement which will get your heart rate up. We're gonna do broad jump, okay? But when we do the broad jump, we're gonna turn around and jump back as well, right? So how do we do the broad jump? Push your hips back and then turn around and go again all right if you want to do this on the mat let's begin in three two and one turn around 30 seconds only all right okay you're gonna step off the mat and do this come on turn around let's go let's go let's go firing up those muscle fibers And you see your heart rate going up as well. Last jump. And we are done. 30 seconds, broad jumps. We're ready for today's workout. Now, before we move on to that, very simple motto, mantra in life, right? Now, all you gotta do is make sure that the simple things that you do, you do those things consistently. 
Every day you do that becomes a habit. And fitness is also like that. All right, so it's just taking about half an hour, one hour from your daily life, right? And then doing that consistently. You don't have to make it super complicated. Complications or complicated movements will come as you up your skill level. So whatever skill level are you are at today, make sure that you do the simple things daily, consistently, it becomes your habit. All right, on that note, guys, we'll start off today's pool day. And in today's pool day, you know what's going on? We are gonna do some back work, some trap work, and biceps work, okay? In the back, three movements. Remember I said, we're gonna hit the hypertrophy rep range. Scale down reps, 10 reps. Scaled up reps, 14 reps in the first one. We're gonna hit some dumbbell rows. Along with that, we're gonna do some bent over flies and pullovers, all right? Each movement, we're gonna hit four sets, okay? Less amount of uh, break in between. The first one we're gonna hit is a bent over, dumbbell rows. So push your hips back. Remember how we did the hip hinge in the previous session, right? Same thing, and you're gonna keep your dumbbells in front of you in normal grip, all right? Which, which means your palms are facing inward towards you, towards your knees. From here, you're gonna roll up, squeeze your back, exhale, and you're gonna hit 14 reps on the scale down. On the scale down, you're gonna hit with, of course, a little lighter weight and reduce number of reps, 10 reps. All right, so we're gonna hit four sets of these as well. Then we move on to the flies, four sets of that, and then we move on to your pullovers. Okay, let's do this, guys. Get ready, three, Two and one. Come on. One. Breathe out on top. Four done. Come on. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Come on. Two more. Two more. 13 and 14, all right? We're gonna keep the weights down. Four sets we have, we're gonna rest 30 seconds and then we move on to the next set. And also, in the 30 seconds, I'm gonna get my friend up, my towel, and wipe off my sweat because I don't like it when it gets into the eyes, right? Kinda burns, all right. Gonna scale up the weight. So if you have a little heavyish or middle, uh, I mean, not medium kind of weight, Use that now for this next set, all right? You can stick with those. I'm working on 10, with 10s now. Get ready. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Six, seven, come on, you can stop at 10, all right, on the scale down, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, two more, 13, last one, 14, and relax. Okay, 30 seconds recovery. Are we feeling? How's that back? You get that nice pump now, all right? And you, you worked up a sweat already. Wow, now that is hypertrophy, and that is what will make this workout really great. Okay, for the last two sets, I'm gonna reduce the number of reps to 12, but if you're carrying, doing this with lighter weights, you can still hit that 14 reps as well, all right? I'm gonna hit 12. <sighs> okay, let's start in three, two, and one. <sighs> one, two, three, four, five, Six, come on, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more for me, eleven, twelve. All right, if you want to finish 14, two more reps for you all, okay? And now we rest for 30 seconds. Just like that, guys, three sets done, one more set on this first movement, and it's a brilliant one. Look at the core engagement. Look at how your spine, feel that, how it is flat. 
push those hips back. Make sure that you have that little bit of load taken by your hamstrings and your glutes in the bent over position. Okay, so these are things that you got to keep in mind. All right. And when you're rowing up, your mind is thinking, all right, it's my back that I'm focusing on. That is where all the work is. Okay, last set coming up. I know 30 seconds are up, but you know what? I'm going to go 15s on this one. We're ready. All right, let's go. 14 reps, max. 12, I'm going to hit. 10 is the scales. Now let's go. 3, 2, and 1. 2. In control. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Come on. 8, 9, 10. Two more. 11. One more. 12. And two more. For the rest of you doing 14 and now we are done with today's first block that is the back block the first movement of that we're gonna hit some dumbbell flies now but we're gonna hit the bent over position again okay really isolating your upper back over here we're gonna go light 7.5s on this wow 12 reps here okay 12 reps max 12 reps and scale down is eight reps. And how do we do this? In a bent over position, palms facing each other, guys, all right? And then you row out, fly out, like this, okay? All right, so now you know how to do this. The bent over position, making sure the elbows are slightly bent, and you fly out, then bring it back to the neutral position, to the setup position. We're ready now. Remember, 12 reps, scaled eight reps. And on the scaled weight as well, light weight. If you have fives, 2.5s, it still works. All right, let's go. In three, two, and one. One, two, three, four. Come on, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, come on, come on, come on. 11, last one, and 12. Okay, we're gonna rest now, 30 seconds. Now, that is brilliant. We're feeling that nice pump on your back. Typical hypertrophy work, and you have that burn as well, which is great. All right, now this little recovery time that we're gonna take now is gonna ease out that burn, and you're gonna be ready for the next set. Remember, we're doing four sets here. First one done, 10 reps, sorry, eight reps on a scale. 12 on a scale up. All right, we're ready. Five seconds to go. I'm gonna go light on this. I'm gonna stick with this weight. All right, three, two, and one. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Come on, come on. Five, six, seven, eight. Skilled reps done. Nine, ten. Two more. Eleven and 12 all right not so tough all right not that easy as well with the right volume which is the number of reps and the right amount of load this workout can be really really intense all right but you know what the big muscles we worked with a little heavy weight now we're really isolating the upper back muscle which is great all right so Having said that, we got about five seconds on the clock. We'll begin set number three. Pick up your weights, get ready. Push your hips back, bent over position, core engage. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12 all right okay weights down relax breathe walk around get some steps going as well okay last set coming up guys last set if you want you can take in a quick sip of water and also towel off okay ready all right come on team Come on, come on, let's do this. Last one. Three, two, one. Exhale. 
Weight is on top. Come on. Nine, 10, two more, 11, and 12. Okay, so that is your flies. You know, a lot of times I get a, a lot of feedback, you know, why don't we do different uh, ways of training? Um, you know, rounds for time, EMOM. We do EMOM, we do circuit based, but we hardly do rep based because everybody's individual capacity is different, right? So if I'm going 14 reps with a certain amount of weight and a certain pace, not everybody can do the same pace, right? Burpees, think of 10 burpees. I'm doing 10 bur I'm doing my second or third burpee. Somebody else is on the fifth burpee. Somebody else is on the first burpee. So that's why we try to avoid rep base. But you know, in PPL2, I want to make sure that you get the best of everything, right? So you'll have your circuit base, you'll have your rep base, you'll have your EMOMs, which is every minute on a minute, and many other as well. So best is this journey that you're gonna go through for the next four weeks. Enjoy it. All right, make sure you give your best, make sure you show up and do this. All right, on that note, guys, pullovers coming up. I know we've taken a little longish break, but you deserve it. And I also wanted to talk a little bit on, you know, how the training method's gonna be. All right, so pullovers, just a single dumbbell. All right, not too light, not really heavy, just the amount, right amount of weight. And I'm gonna hold the edge, the end of the hex dumbbell. All right, and my elbows extended, my knees are bent, and this is my setup position. From here, I'm gonna drop slowly without touching the dumbbell on the floor. And breathe out here, all right? Make sure that you hold the dumbbell nice and tight and don't let it slip. Safety is super important, so be careful. If you feel that you're not able to hold it easily, then you can hold it like this as well. Of course, the range of motion will be slightly cut, but this is a little safer way to do it as well. All right, on that note, guys, let's begin. Ooh, let me get this. All right, three, two, and one, go for it. 14 reps, scaled 10. Three done. Four done. Come on. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Come on. Two more. 13 and whew, 14. All right, rest 30 seconds. Now, if you want, you can just lie down on the mat and rest, or you can sit up, shake out that tightness. All right, and just breathe. Focus on something nice, focus on what you are planning to do after your session is done, whether it's a walk, whether reading a book, or just finishing off the day's work or setting up yourself for the day's work. Whatever it is, I hope you're gonna crush it. All right, let's go with set number two. Three, two, and one, go. Two reps done. Three, four, five, nice. Okay, so when we're doing this movement, you're still working a bit on your lats, but supremely what is working is the anterior serratus muscle, which is also called the boxes muscle, which attaches from the back towards the rib cage, right? Just below your chest, right? And I think I'm done with about 12 reps. One more after this, and this is my 14th rep. And done with two sets, we are gonna rest this time. I'm gonna make sure that I stand up and I walk around 30 seconds. The recovery is a little active over here. Okay, if you feel like you can add a little spot chalk as well. All right, just a little shuffle. Poof, 20 seconds done. 
last 10 seconds before we hit the third set. All right. Down on the floor. Get ready with the weight. Three, two, one. Be safe and let's go. One, two, three, four. Good job. Five, nice. Six, seven, excellent. Eight, I'm gonna rest for a few seconds here. All right, nine, 10. Come on, four more. One, two, three, last one, and four. Okay, wow. Ah. Three done, guys, three done. All right, good job. We're feeling good, we're feeling proud, we're feeling nice. <sighs> okay, for the last set, you know what, I forgot that I have to keep my head this side. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. A little bit of adjustment with the weights. <laughs> you know, kind of extra work, extra calories being burned as well. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Looking at the clock, I think we've overshot the rest duration by a few seconds, but that's all right. It's, everything is all right, everything is good. Three, two, one, let's go. Last 14 reps, scale this 10. Two done. So like I was saying, right? Just do things what you like to do for your own good, which will help you develop as a stronger, better character right and if it goes off a little bit here and there it's okay don't beat yourself up if you know you've not done a hundred percent of what you expected but you know if your effort is hundred percent that's good enough for me all right a few more okay last one now we are done yes all right just gonna keep the weight slowly and that is your pullovers as well four sets done team how are we feeling nice pump on that back feeling confident feeling strong that is what matters right now okay now let's see what we have next next we got some trap work we gotta hit two movements shrugs of course dumbbell shrugs will definitely be part of your trap work but along with that something that we didn't do in the previous edition of ppl we're gonna hit some sumo deadlift high pulls all right so how do we do your shrugs first stand tall hold the dumbbells outside your hips if you want you can hold it in front as well okay outside the hips up squeeze here down up and down all right we're gonna hit 14 reps over here scaled 10 then along with that we're gonna hit some sumo deadlift high pull all right keep your feet wider than shoulder width toes pointing out push your hips back this is your sumo stance right from here hip up pull and down hip up pull and down all right so when you bring the weight down don't just drop the weight here from this pull position drop it down then in control you lower all right we're gonna hit 14 reps like i said right 14 reps and three sets on the scale down 10 reps okay we are ready to do the shrugs okay come on team let's do this starting in three two and one come on one two three done come on Seven, halfway there. Get your elbows up, close to your ears. Squeeze and relax down. A few more, a few more, come on. Last two. Last one. And done. Oof, all right. It's hard to keep account of the reps when you're talking, explaining as well, but you know, if a rep goes here and there, it's definitely all right. You know that you have to hit 14 reps. You know that you have to hit 10 reps on a scale. 
as long as you hit those, it's fine by me, all right? If I hit one shot, doesn't matter. If I hit one more, it's good, yeah? All right, so 30 seconds recovery. We're gonna hit three sets of this, remember? So first set is done and dusted. We got the second set coming up. Are you ready? Let's go with me, three, two, and one. All right, good, good, come on. Good stuff, keep this going. 10 done. Last one now. Ooh. Okay, brilliant work on the straps. Let's relax a little bit, stretch it out slowly for a few seconds here and there. Okay, last one. And then we have one more work for your trap. It's very functional what we're gonna do next. Okay, let's get ready guys. Three, two, and one, let's go. Three done, come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, last one, 14. Okay, so that took us about 30 seconds to hit all 14 reps, which is decent, all right? Now done with that, we're gonna rest. And while we're resting, I'm gonna explain what we have next. I'm gonna switch the heavier dumbbells with 10s. All right, so next what we're doing is the sumo deadlift high pulls, all right? We've done high pulls in the past, but not the sumo deadlift. So for this first thing, you set up feet wide, toes pointing out, okay? You're gonna keep your dumbbells and hold them between your shin, okay, between your calves. This is your setup position. From here, you're gonna extend your hips and do a high pull. And as you lower, you lower first, let the dumbbells hang over here, then you push your hips back. That's how the movement is. Now, how many reps are we hitting? We're hitting, wow, 12 reps on the scale down and eight reps on the scale down, okay? Let's do this, guys, in three, two, and one. That's one, that's two, three, four, five, halfway. All right, come on, come on, come on. Eight, nine, 10, two more. 11, last one team. Whew. Okay, we're gonna stop here, we're gonna relax. Look at that movement, look at that range, right? In that sumo position, you're still, you're working out on your, your adductors, your inner thighs, your glutes getting kicked in. And then as you pull up, your traps, all right? But make sure, like I said, when you're releasing, first release, let the weight stay in the line of the hips, and then you push your hips down. Otherwise, with that load, you might put strain on your lower back. All right, so be careful with that. Round number two coming up, get ready. Three, two, and one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, two more. 11, last one. <sighs> All right, we deserve this rest, yeah? We deserve this. You work hard enough. So when you earn that, when you get that rest period, you know your body needs it. And you totally, totally deserve that, right? So that is the kind of effort you should give. 
so when you get that rest period you don't feel that you know you're cheating right okay last set coming up guys five more seconds to go that is your rest time and now it's work time starting in three two and one for the last time 12 reps after this we're gonna hit some bicep work four done five done halfway there keep going seven eight nine come on come on yeah ten eleven last one team all right you got this and I got that too Oof. all right keeping the weights down let me explain what we have next all right your bicep work so hold one side curl the other side all right and how many reps are we hitting we're hitting eight each side and we're gonna hit three rounds of it after that we're gonna do zotman curls which is a combination of the bicep curls rotate and then you just drop it down in the reverse grip position all right so you're working not only your biceps but your forearms as well all right especially the top bit of it so that's a good one and we're gonna hit how many reps of those we're gonna hit 10 reps of those three sets once again all right so let's begin the bicep work guys pick a weight which is a little lighter 5 kgs 2.5 even 7.5 will work I'm working with 7.5s and I think this is gonna be super super challenging all right let's go three two and one eight reps all right two three four five six seven eight hold the other side one two three four five six seven eight Ooh, and we rest 30 seconds shake it off not bad not bad all right three rounds of it that was the first set we're feeling a nice pump on your biceps which is great a little small muscle right but still nonetheless you still have to work those small muscles as well yeah so 16 17 18 seconds done 19 20 seconds done last 10 seconds and we hit set number two we ready or what yeah come on come on pick up your weights get ready three two and one hold and curl there all right curl come on two there three good pump on those arms five six come on seven and eight and you hold the side and curl the other side two three four five yeah six seven eight and we rest for 30 seconds <sighs> all right quick water break guys quick water break <sighs> all right we're ready last set we still have about 10 seconds now <sighs> okay come on let's go in five seconds all right four three two and one let's go one two three ah uh, make it worth your time make it worth your sweat yeah come on keep saying these lines because it means a lot to me right everything that i do all the workout that i do really means a lot all right come on come on come on yes four five six seven and eight wow and done Oof. okay i'm just gonna take some time put the weights down walk around a bit now zotman curls coming up we have done this in n number of sessions of our you know curls life strength equipment workout we have done this in ppl edition one as well but you know just to explain this wow this is a solid one okay so you curl up palms facing upward right and then as you are going to lower you turn them palm facing down that's one rep that's two rep okay 
So, how are you breathing? As you are coming up, you exhale. Inhale as you turn. As you put the weight down, exhale. Inhale as you turn again. Right? Simple. Okay? Eight reps. Let's go. Three, two, one. Two done. Three. Four. Five. Six. Come on, two more. Seven. And eight. Wow. Man, cannot hold those dumbbells any longer, right? After the eighth rep. That's why, just kept them down. Now walk around, stretch out a little bit. 30 seconds recovery. All right, halfway there now, All right? 15 more seconds. Let's get the two sets done, and then we have this nice finisher. After that stretches, and we are done with today's session as well. All right, okay. It's time to go again. Set two, three, two, and one. In control. Yeah, nice. Come on. Six done. Last one. Yeah. All right. Ooh, weights down. Ah, oh, brilliant, brilliant work. Okay, last one coming up, guys. Last one coming up. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll get this. We are in this together. All right. I know I've done these sessions so many times. You may have seen me on your screen so many times and I keep saying certain things multiple times. And that's because those words mean a lot, right? We are in this together. Okay. You're not alone because everybody else in this community, we stand, we stick with each other. All right. On that note, let's begin the third set, the final one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, two more. Last one. Arms are burning, but we gotta get that done. Wow. All right, guys, we are done with all the nice, nice work, but we still have a solid finisher and that will take your breath away literally, guys. Because the movement combination is great and it's a cardio finisher. We're gonna do body weight, but you know, in one movement, I wanna add some weights as well. Okay, before we go there, right? Take a note of what I'm gonna say now, right? So every day you have a certain amount of things to do, right? Like, let's say when I get up, I know I, I, I have like, eight things, 10 things to do. I make a list of those. And at the end of the day, if I'm able to check about seven, eight things, I've ticked them. That means I've done those. And I still have not done like the last two. It's still okay. It's a good, it's a big deal for me, right? I missed out on those two. Don't beat yourself up on that, right? It's okay. You get that the next day, right? So even if you do like five, six items, be proud about it. As long as your effort has been good, as long as you've been able to take out some time to do those important things, it's great, all right? It's all about priority, you know? The, the most important things, you get those things done first. That's it. All right, on that note, guys, let's go to the finisher. We got some burpees coming up <laughs> with the dumbbells, okay? 30 seconds of dumbbell burpees. So keep those dumbbells on the mat, get into a high plank position, Drop your chest down, jump up. That's one rep, go down. Scale down, step, step, small hop or just stand up, all right? So that's the first one. Second one we'll do side to side shuffle. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. All right, and the last one, double tap skips. As you jump up at the highest point, you tap your hip flexes twice. Make sure you land soft, all right? On your toes, land soft, making sure that the spring action on your ankle and your knee joints 
they're coming into play. All right, so these three movements, guys, we'll get these done real quick. Three rounds, all right, 30 seconds each. Okay, let's go. In three, two, and one. Hit as many reps as possible. Taking a look at a clock, 16 seconds done. Okay, a few more. <laughs> All right, last one and done. That's 30 seconds. All right, quick recovery. And we're gonna do your side shuffle now. Okay, we're ready. Get ready, get ready, come on. 10 seconds recovery, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, two, five, six, and keep going. Whatever count works for you. We're not doing floor touch, we're just moving side to side. Come on. And done. 10 seconds, quick recovery. Wow. Heart rate is up. How about 150 now? 10 seconds recovery, double tap skips. It's gonna increase more, three, two, and one. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Halfway. Now, it's gonna take a few seconds off. Three, two, one, come on. Five more seconds. Come on. And relax. Okay, we're gonna rest for 15 seconds now. Second round. Wow. Round two coming up, guys. Our heart rate has gone down. Okay, let's do this. Round number two. Three, two, one. One. Two. Three, keep going. Four. Five. Six, seven, one more, and done. All right, resting 15 seconds, and then we do the side shuffle. Okay, five seconds to go. All right, let's go. Focus on that exhale. Come on. Almost there. Five more seconds. And done. All right, why I said focus on exhale. You should not allow carbon dioxide to you know, build up in your body. So exhale. Your body is meant to survive, right? If it needs oxygen, somehow it will find a way to inhale as long as there is air for us to inhale. But that exhale, you need to be uh, watchful about that and exhale as much as your body needs. It's all right, okay? Come on, let's go with double tap skips. A little longer on that break. Come on. Keep going, keep going. Last 10 seconds. Oh, 
almost there. Wow. Oh. Right. Yeah, so focus on breathing, nice rhythm, and that's how you improve your aerobic capacity as well. Think of it, you know, while running, the rhythm comes with your breathing as well, yeah? One leg in front, ahead of you, keeping the torso nicely balanced, good form, and just keep running. Easier said than done, of course, but once you get that nice cadence uh, in your runs as well, you'll improve on that. Okay, last one, dumbbell burpees. Let's go, guys. Three, two, and one. All right. Keep going, keep going, come on. Let's take a look at the clock now. All right, last rep. Ah. Oof. Okay, you know what? You totally deserve this rest. 20 seconds, 20, 20 seconds this time. So 10 in the first, 15 in the second, third round, 20 seconds between movements. All right, side to side shuffle. Ready, come on, three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, go, go, go. More than halfway now, guys. Last 10 seconds, you wanna pick up some pace? All right, let's go. Three, two, and one. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, nice one. Double tap skips. We rest 10 more seconds, and then we hit your DD skips, double tap skips for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, come on. 15 seconds. Getting tired? Yes, we are. Are we giving up? No, we are not. All right, let's go. Come on, come on. Three, two, Ah, oh, one. Champ, champ, champ. That's what you are, guys. All right. Great, great, great workout. Great finisher. And you know, it's cardio finishers. What it does is, all that uh, burn that you feel in your muscle, right? That lactic buildup, it kind of goes away with this with such finishers. And so now you're feeling a little better and not too tight on your muscles, right? Because all that um, conditioning work that you've done, it's helping you ease away that burn. Okay, on that note, guys, we are going to get into your stretches, all right? The work we're doing in PPL, first thing first, and we spoke about improved muscle mass, right? And that's happening because of the training method that we're using. Hypertrophy, right? The rep range, six to 14, eight to 12. But if you have different weights, use those weights. Heavy weights, medium weights, light weights, you know, variables. If you keep that thing in mind, you'll definitely have increased muscle size and you know, you're gonna look a lot better. You're gonna feel a lot better as well. Don't look, and just just over a period of four weeks, you're gonna feel a lot of difference in your body. All you gotta do is, I keep saying this again, right? Certain things show up every day, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, one hour, one hour, 15 minutes, get that thing done. Okay, all right, so let's stretch now. First one, Sphinx pose. The easier version of the Cobra. All right, just gonna push this, these tumbles off away. All right, whoo, arms down, elbows down, and lift your torso up, hang in here for 30 seconds. Let's go. That 
it's it's been a great workout. I I felt really really phenomenal. The back, the biceps, the trap, and that finisher. Just icing on the cake, right? Let me know, guys. Let me know after you do the session how you felt. Is there anything else you know that you want to see? Uh, be honest with your feedback because that's what we at Cult we believe, you know, in right. We don't want to just want to randomly plan programs. We're done with the stretch. Next up, we've got the puppy dog. So your hip and your knees in one line, and then you drop your chest. All right, and hold it there. Okay, let's do this for 30 seconds, starting in three, two, and one. Let's go. Yeah, so I was talking about the the feedback that we get and how seriously we take those feedback and wherever we can make changes we try to make those changes as soon as possible all right good stuff guys you're doing good you're stretching well Let's taking a look at the clock two seconds to go i see and we are done next up we've got the down dog all right, you know the deal, right with down dog, palms down. Okay, lift your hip up. Get your tummy close to your thighs, upper thighs. Hang in there. Arms should be covering your ears, right? So what I mean to say is head in between your arms. Take a sneak peek at a time, halfway there. All right, guys, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, next, the twisted cross. I love the stretch, I love this. All right, so palm, we're facing down, right arm outside laterally. Then I'm gonna take that left leg across, the right leg is extended out. This, this leg is close to my extended leg, left arm up. All right, hang in there, 30 seconds. Feel a nice stretch on the back. Chest, shoulders, get a nice stretch. Thoracic spine, get a good stretch. A little complicated, but it's not. And it's a solid, solid stretch. You'll hear some cracking noise of the spine. It's okay, don't worry. Three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna be facing this side and 30 seconds here. Okay. All right, good stuff. Think about halfway there now. Okay, a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, last stretch of the day, guys. Standing straddle. Okay, I'm gonna be staying off the mat, keep my feet as wide as possible, and I'm gonna push my hips back, knees out, drop my palms down. I'm gonna hold here for 30 seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Stretch, stretch. If you want, you can go to one side and make sure that the inner thighs are getting good stretch. Five seconds there, five seconds here. Palms behind, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Hold your toes. Three, two, one. Good job. Let's stand up slowly. All right. Give yourself a huge, huge round of applause. You showed up, you smashed today's workout. Wow. All right, now, done with the session, what's next? You gotta rest up, recover well, okay? Also, you gotta download the Cultit app because if you don't do that, you're missing out on tons of good, good, solid content, a lot of different formats, a lot of workouts. Go ahead and do it just about now, all right? Until the next session, Goodbye. For more workout videos, download the Cult Fit app now and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.